Hello Grateful Spirits, welcome back to another one of my videos. My name is Camille Elaine and welcome to the Grateful Spirit Faith. If you are new to this channel, welcome. On this channel we talk about God, we talk about Jesus, we do women's devotionals, we talk about anything encouraging and uplifting for your soul and welcome back to the channel. So yes, today by the title you can see that we are doing a women's devotional and we are going to be talking about being enriched with God's grace, okay? Allowing grace into our lives, right? And I know sometimes for me, like of course we can understand like, you know, salvation and grace and everything of what that means and the importance of it. But sometimes I think even for myself speaking, I can forget the grace in like our everyday lives that God provides, right? So I've just been learning to surrender more to God lately, these past few months of my life, just going through womanhood, motherhood, lifehood or whatever you want to call it um and just really learning to surrender to god and really just learning what it is to just like know what salvation means for grace but also understand that grace can like god can provide grace in every area of my life especially in the areas where you know it just feels like it's overwhelming for myself so so grab your bibles grab your journals grab your tea grab all that good stuff Stuff, okay because we are back here we're definitely going to be going over some scripture today and I'm super excited about it because um, just God's love is overwhelming when you actually feel it and you actually get to sit in his love it's just like I always you know when I'm always feeling God I just praying to him and just like really crying my heart out to him I'm just like please don't leave me God please like I just be wanting him to just like come just wrap me all in his love you know like just please you know that's just the passion that I have for him and just how I feel and you know that zeal for God and so being enriched in his grace allowing grace because I don't know about you for me personally I have to pray for myself that God allows me to allow myself to have grace for myself <laughs> I don't even know if that made sense like that was a whole lot right now but I can find myself like even throughout motherhood blaming myself for things or um, you know just being critical of myself if I'm not doing things right or falling short or when I'm weak or when I'm tired and just having guiltiness in certain things um you know just remembering that God is there for us to call on him in these moments okay in these moments he can provide grace to us and let us know that it's okay that we're not going to get everything right like we're not going to be able to be just like this a plus parent or this a plus daughter or this a plus uh plus a a plus whatever like god doesn't want us to live this perfect life right and i know that when i started my faith walk a long time ago i used to really think that i had to like earn god's grace like okay like if i did you know like 10 good things today or like you know i did something good for somebody today so like i'm gonna be on god's good side like no there's nothing that you can even do to earn his grace okay his grace is free okay it's completely free like it's totally free like we're charged for pretty much everything in life but the ultimate thing of our lives is completely free for us okay jesus paid for it all jesus paid for us on the cry on the cross right so as we go throughout life we have to remind ourselves that we have to take the eyes from ourselves and we need to take the look from ourselves and we need to look at the cross it's about the cross right we're taking the attention away from ourselves and it's about the true salvation and grace and jesus paid for it all but sometimes throughout life we don't allow that grace into our lives because we think that our past you know defines us or maybe we weren't a good person at one time or maybe we did something bad to somebody and sometimes we think that we have to earn God's favor. We have to earn his grace. We have to be on his good side by doing good things. And that's really just not how it works. Like, have you ever been giving something from someone? Like someone just gave you something and it was completely free. Like you didn't have to pay for it. Like that's exactly how grace is given to us. Like we were given this. We were given this amazing gift for free. We have been paid for in full by the blood of Jesus and grace is so graciously given to us from God so why is it so hard sometimes for us to be gracious to ourselves right like I had to ask God like I wasn't allowing grace into my life like I wasn't allowing myself to 
you know, be, you know, be graceful in God's love. I was just like being really hard on myself. I have to genuinely, you know, do away with a life full of sin. Like we, we have to come to those terms. Like, and although yes, Jesus paid the price, but to fully experience that, we do have to abide in Christ, right? And we do have to, we have to be obedient to him. We have to, we have to be obedient to God. And what he says, you know, we, we have to listen to what he says because he ultimately knows the best for us. Well, God knows that we don't know everything and we are his children, okay? So we have to make sure that we are abiding in Christ and that we are definitely allowing his grace into our lives and knowing that we don't have to do X, Y, and Z to earn it. It's given to us. But definitely just because it's given to us doesn't mean that we should take it for granted. It means that we should honor it. We should, we should gratify it, right? Because this is something that is ultimate because Jesus paid the price. Like we, we are sinners, like regardless of what it is and we've been given this free gift that's available to us regardless of what we did regardless of what we think was regardless of anything it just means that this is freely so given and God um, he's just so ready to give it to us so it's important that we know that nothing can separate us from that um, grace that's given to us because Jesus paid for it all okay so grab your Bibles we are going to be taking a look at 2 Corinthians 12 9 through 10 Okay, so it says here, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is perfected in weakness. Therefore, I will most gladly boast all the more about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may reside in me. So I take pleasure in weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and in difficulties for the sake of Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Amen. Amen. That is so good just to know like God's grace is sufficient to us right God has bestowed this amazing grace upon us like it's available to us it's paid for okay um, it's not something that we have to earn from him and it's not something that we have to think that you know we have to do all this good things to earn from God because even if you did all those things, you couldn't even earn it because you don't, we're, we're not, we don't deserve it. We are sinners, right? And Jesus paid the ultimate price. So, so the more that we allow God's grace into our lives, the more he will allow us to have grace for ourselves. We'll be less critical of ourselves. We'll be less judgmental of ourselves because God changes our hearts, okay? He changes our spirit. And it's just, you know, important that we also are gentle with ourselves. You know, God's grace is sufficient for us, okay, no matter what. And it's a, it's available to it's available to us through faith, right? Through faith. And it's important that we practice it every day and just understand that this is available to us. It's already been paid for. It's not something that we have to earn. And just allow more grace into your life, okay? Become enriched in God's grace. Become enriched in his promises, his love for you because you are so loved. And um I know sometimes it, it might feel like no one cares or maybe you feel alone or maybe you feel like nobody understands you or maybe you're just feeling a certain type of way like you can really find like companionship in God like you can really find so much companionship in him and just so much you know love and grace and just confirmation and it makes me almost like teary-eyed sitting here because He's just really been so sufficient for me, you know, these past months and just really my life. And if there's anyone out there that I can encourage today with this video and just allowing God's grace into their lives and really just picking up your Bible, you know, and really just learning God's word and just really praying for the Holy Spirit to guide you into scripture and to really learning, um, god's written word and the power of it then so be it just one just one soul but um you know abiding in christ trusting in him trusting in you know god's promises and really just making him the center of our lives um and allowing that grace for ourselves and being gentle with ourselves like not being critical of ourselves because god is not critical of us we need to allow more grace it's okay we're not going to get everything right we're not going to get everything right nobody gets everything right nobody is perfect we're gonna mess up we're gonna have mistakes but god provides grace for that he provi provides shelter he provides comfort okay those lonely nights those tears that nobody knows about those times when you probably want to scream your head off 
um, that nobody knows about, those moments when you're crying out that nobody knows about, but God and you, like he hears those cries and he wants to provide that grace. So open up, surrender, and allow him to provide that grace in your life because that's what I had to do. And I only speak about things that I've personally been through. And the moment I started allowing more of God's grace into my life, into every area, understanding the true salvation and what grace means also for Jesus, but also allowing grace into my life and my everyday life and the physical world here, like allowing that grace, you know, allowing God to work in all areas with my relationship with my kids, with my relationship with my family, with my relationship with my colleagues at work, with my relationship with anybody that I encounter. There's always something deeper that God is always trying to teach us. And I just always you know, want to make sure that I'm allowing him and his grace to just run the show. That's what I have for today. I hope this message resonates with anyone out there. If you need a prayer request, the email is thegratefulspiritfaith at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow us over on Instagram as well. And until then, I will catch you guys all in my next video. Also, I wanted to let you guys know if you want to sign up for Bible reading plans, the link is down below. You'll get a new Bible reading plan every month. I also have some new things coming in store. I'm super excited. So if you are super excited just about the biblical sisterhood community that we have created here on YouTube, then I think you're going to just be excited in general. So I love all of you guys so much. Thank you so much for all your support, all your comments, all your feedback. It's greatly appreciated. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help the channel out and it does help us grow the biblical sisterhood and to also make heaven crowded. Thanks again and I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Bye!